What's up guys, welcome to another Battlefield Nights 43 Sunday commentary. And this gameplay, I uploaded a part of this gameplay uh, about four days ago. It's the part where I go ape shit in the fucking plane. <laughs> I just start like killing everybody. And uh, I actually got lucky with that. It was, the, it was the stupidity of the players that actually got me all those kills. If you didn't see that video, you'll see the part in this video. Um, but in the beginning, I kind of fail and fail and fail with the airplane because this was the first time that I was playing for about three weeks of not playing and coming back and just trying to fly that airplane is it's like it's like trying to fuck a hooker without a condom and trying not to catch a disease of some sort so it is it is difficult I mean the sense that you can get up in the air and fly around that's easy of course you flying a plane in this game is not that difficult but the sense of not getting shot down now that's difficult uh, one time I do remember I was flying and there was this tank all the way at the other side of the map. All the way. Like, fucking a mile away from me. And he gets me with the main turret gun. And I was in a state of shock. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe Battlefield Nights 43 just went Modern Warfare 2 on me. It was just a random ass death. But other than that, this game is awesome. So, you'll see me fail right here. Like, when I try to get on this, you'll see me get on a plane and you'll just see. But anyways, that's not what this commentary is about. This commentary is about, uh... The main topic that's been lingering lately in the YouTube community, which is um, the main problems in our community. And Hutch uploaded a video and he wants to hear everybody else's opinion on it. And uh, I actually wrote down the top five problems that I believe is in our YouTube community. Now, these top five problems, out of the five problems, I think um, only one of them is, is a problem. Like in the sense that it's not it's not a good and bad thing it's just a bad thing like the other four it can be a good thing and then it could be a bad thing you know what i'm saying but it still becomes a problem when it's a bad thing so here are my top five problems and i'll get into detail on each one the first problem that i believe is in our community is the boom in our community what i mean by boom is like a whole bunch of people coming in like if you if you've noticed if i started out doing commentaries in august 2009 when i started it was about less than a hundred commentators out there making, trying to make it and trying to get big. And having 15, 10, 15,000 subscribers was a big deal. Hutch had 15,000 subscribers. C Nanners wasn't even heard of. Um, PJ was still in the in, in the gist. Blame Truth, F X Cal, those were the main names that you heard. Uh, there was no such thing as like people like X Jaws, Muzza Fuzza. They weren't really here. Uh, also, Power Puncher and Sam 5000 were here as well. So. When I started out, and those were just the names that I knew. Other people might have been there, I don't know, but, you know, when I started out, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that many people. But as time went along, especially when Modern Warfare 2 came out, my God, there was like a major boost. When Modern Warfare 2 came out, it jumped from like, at that point, probably like 200 commentators trying to make it. I I'm just giving you guys estimates. This is not like approximate, all right? <laughs> I didn't go and look up every fucking commentator on YouTube. That would take a lifetime. But when, when before Modern Warfare 2 came out, there was about maybe 200 commentaries trying to make it. Then after Modern Warfare 2, it just like jumped to a thousand. People just started getting commentaries out, montages and everything like that. And also, I'm not I'm not only talking about commentators. I'm talking about like montage makers and all that. You know, uh, YouTube gaming in general and the Call of Duty community. And after Modern Warfare 2, people start coming everywhere like a bunch of fucking Mexicans. Just everywhere just coming from all sides asking for shout outs box for box well all right boxes weren't back there but these days people ask for like box for box shout outs retweet for retweet also that mexican joke i'm not racist against mexicans just to let you know some people you know they take shit to heart so i don't want to break your little heart just relax but after modern warfare 2 people started coming out from everywhere and people were asking me for shout outs and everything like that at that point i had about I'll say 4,000 subscribers and you know even then you still get messages from people and then uh, as Modern Warfare 2 went along even more people joined and more people joined and now there's probably like over 1,500 commentators montage makers probably even more trying to make it and a lot of these people is probably have around you know not not that many subscribers but in my opinion it's not the subscribers that makes your uh, quality the best you know you can have zero subscribers and you can have the best videos in the world your videos could be better than porn but you'll still have zero subscribers because you haven't gotten noticed yet 
It's not like you're going to upload a video and then overnight 2 million people are going to watch it. That's not the way it works. It's not like overnight you're going to get 20,000 subscribers. Unless some big guy, you know, big shot like Hutch or something gives you a shout out. Good luck with that. But, you know, so getting into this community is kind of difficult even now. When I got in, I got like 1,000 subscribers overnight because of PJ. But, um... When I when when I got in, it was a little bit more easy because there wasn't a lot of people, you know. So that's what that's what I think. Um, but the boom in our community can also be a good thing, you know. Even though it 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 brings in more dicks, assholes, and pussies, assholes who just want to shit on everything. No, I'm just kidding. But it can also be a good thing because the more people we have in our community, the easier it is that we're we, we're able to be heard, you know. Like for example, when we complain about things in games, they fix it. Unlike, you know, some companies out there, they're not going to fix it. They're just going to let us keep on getting pissed off. I'm not going to mention any names. Right, Infinity Ward? But other companies, they will fix shit. So the boom in our community is a good and bad thing at the same time. And the next problem that I believe is in our community is Machinima. When I started doing videos, Machinima didn't offer contracts and everything like that. They didn't even upload commentaries, I believe. Um, they were strictly like machinimas and movies, what the real machinima term means. Now when you say, oh, um, I'm uploading a machinima, you know, people are like, oh, you're uploading a video to machinima respawn? You know, it, it, it doesn't mean that. Machinima really means like, you know, the Call of Duty movies that they make with a storyline and action sequences and shit like that. So the, the term machinima has really changed. And this is, yeah, this is the part where I go ape shit. Yeah, and then it was like before this, I, I also got like a... A quad kill feed. Well, it wasn't really a quad kill feed because this all this game. Once you get three kills, that's all it takes up on the kill feed. The next kill just comes down, so you gotta pay like close attention to see how many kills you got. But um, Machinima really does make money become a priority. Now that's a good and bad thing because some people they love doing commentaries. They they enjoy doing commentaries. I enjoy doing commentaries. I enjoy making other people entertain, entertaining other people, and you know, getting you guys feedbacks, things like that. And there's some points where, like, some weeks I won't upload commentaries back to back. Some weeks I will. It's because I'm busy on different weeks and I'm less busy on this week. Maybe next week I, there might be no commentaries, you know. It depends on how busy I am because uh, there is a life outside of YouTube. And we all have to live one. But um, Machinima, that's how it's a good and bad thing. It's a bad thing when money becomes a priority and you just want to make videos for the money. But it's a good thing when you when you... When you want the money, but you're also doing it for your 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 beginning purposes. Like when you first began, you didn't just do it for the money. Unless you just, like, your main priority was machinima. Like when I first began, I didn't do it for the money. I just did it for whatever. And I'm still doing it for whatever, you know? But um, I'm still doing it because I enjoy it. But some people make money a priority, and that's when it becomes a bad thing. The next problem, I believe, and it also ties into Machinima, is a YouTube is the YouTube partnerships. Now, you guys, you might have not noticed this, but I quickly did. Some people probably quickly uh, noticed it as well. YouTube started offering partnerships, and once that happened, you saw channels start uploading more videos. Like, for example, uh, Watch This Gaming. I remember they were inactive for a long-ass time, and you know this, I know this. They got a YouTube partnership, and boom, they make a comeback. You know, I don't, I don't blame them for trying to get the money, but it's kind of obvious that the only reason why they brought that channel back was because there was something to benefit from. You know, they, they, they're not doing that channel for uh, kicks and giggles; they're doing it for money. But I don't blame them because they have their own channels to, to operate. But that's a good example right there. And also, um, another, another thing that happens when people get YouTube partnerships, they start uploading a lot of videos that are like 30-second clips. They, they start uploading just like sick clips that they got instead of just waiting for a montage just waiting to put in a montage they'll just upload it on youtube try to get that fast money you know but these days uh people do need money so i don't blame them but then again that's what's ruining our community at the same time another thing that is only this is the only thing that's only a bad thing in our community and what it is is immaturity now, what I don't mean, when I say immaturity, I don't mean, like, making jokes and everything like that. That's not, that's not immaturity. That's called humor. Some people confuse the two. You know, when you make a joke about something, they're like, oh, grow up, act mature. You know, there's, there's a time and place for everything. There's a time to be serious. There's a time to laugh. There's a time for everything. 
There's a time for a blowjob. There's a time for no blowjob. Nah, there really is no time for no blowjob. But, <laughs> but uh, you see, that's 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 humor. That's not immaturity. So, the immaturity I'm talking about is when people start calling out other people. Like, oh, his videos are whack. You're whack. He's whack. Oh, your mother. No, your mother. No, your mother's a whore. You know, that that's immaturity. When you call out people and you start arguing with people on YouTube, because at the end of the day, this is just YouTube. You know, it's not like you're gonna walk outside and and girls are gonna be all over you because you have 30,000 subscribers. That's that's not the way it rolls. If it did roll like that, I'll I'll freaking put a sub for sub shit on every goddamn channel. By the end of the day, I'll have like 20,000 girls all over me, and that and that'll be the shit. But it doesn't work like that because this is reality. If you want to live in your fantasy, go fall asleep and start dreaming. That's what that that's what it is. You know, it is what it is. And at the end of the day, nobody really cares if you have a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. You know, good for you. Kudos. Congratulations. What are you doing in real life? That's the that's the main question. You know, what you do in real life defines who you are. What you do on YouTube really does not, because people act differently on YouTube like in words than they'll do in real life because there's nobody sitting there actually looking at them like in real life you'll never go up to somebody random on the street and say oh fuck you faggot because there's other people watching you and you know they can see who you are and they probably might come after you later when you're sleeping and rape you in the night but on YouTube you'll just tell some random dude who posted a comment oh you're a faggot or something like that because they don't know who you are you, you know it's just it's a, it's, it's a computer screen they're looking at and that's why people act different because there's nobody watching them. If this world was uh, ha had had no government or anything like that, people would act completely different than they do now. If if this if nobody watched you, if nobody watched what you do, if nobody gave a shit what you do in this world, people would definitely act pretty different. And that's the truth, and that's the way it is online. That's why you see, like for example, on videos that have serious stuff like somebody committing suicide a documentary about that you'll see those hate comments like oh ha 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 he committed suicide or a good example is the 9-11 videos there's a lot of people out there who act a fool and they go on 9-11 videos and they're like oh ha 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 Osama Bin Laden is the man or something like that they'll never do that in real life if they went to some place that was talking about 9-11 because I guarantee you they'll get their ass fucking kicked and they do it online because nothing's gonna really happen to them what's really gonna happen to them they're gonna get cursed out online ooh big deal so people act differently online people talk differently online than they talk in real life so that's a that's a that's immaturity is a problem and that that problem is never gonna get fixed because there's always gonna be immature retards online and that's just the way it is and there's even immature retards in real life so and last but not least uh, coming in number five the top five problems the fifth problem this is probably the most the, the biggest problem we have and we need to get rid of it Robert Bowling <laughs> we need to get rid of Robert Bowling we all need to band together and, and um, I don't know we should jump in we should do something we should catch Infinity Ward members on the street and just like tie them up and hold them for ransom call call uh, call Activision and be like unless you fix your game in 48 hours we are going to execute a member of Infinity War. I guess you, I bet you they won't give a shit. They'll be like, go ahead, because they got their money, you know. But now nah, I'm just kidding. Robert Bowling's not a problem. I know Robert Bowling didn't make Modern Warfare 2. He's not responsible. But you know, you always like to blame something on somebody. It's like the same thing with a president. The president is not responsible for everything that happens in America, but or or in any other country that has a president, and uh, he just gets blamed for everything, you know. When 9/11 happened, they just tied it to Bush. Something. If something happens, they're just gonna tie it to Obama. Something happens here, they're gonna tie it to you know somebody else. It's just you. You feel better when you can blame somebody. That's that's the way it rolls. But um, those are the top five problems, man. And that's what I think is wrong with this community. So maybe one day it'll be able to change. The possibility of that happening is very slim because, like I said, this is online. People are gonna act differently than they do in real life or talk differently because they don't really act unless they're making a video of themselves. Then you know, but. And people are going to talk differently, and I don't think this community is going to change. It's, it's just going to continue to go further down this road, and we're just going to have to roll with it. Just my, my opinion to every commentator out there is just live and let live. You know, let them do what they want to do, and you do you, and focus on your content. But that's the commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed my point of view. Till next time, peace.